Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. This is my FTX High Rock and this is going to be the last running video of this because at the time of this recording I've decided to put it out for sale. Uh, but before it gets sold I thought I'd do one last video on my track of it. But it's what I've done is taken a few of the upgrades off and fitted them to my Geo, FTX Geo that I've got which I'm keeping. So some of the upgrades I had done to this, I've now taken it off. Once I'll put it back to standard, is a ESC. It used to run a 1080 Hobby Wing ESC. I've now changed it back to the standard ESC. And the motor was running a RC four-wheel drive 35 turn bus motor. It is now running a 21 turn bus motor, I think it is. Or there about it's a 21 bus um, motor which I took removed from my Traxxas 2x4 and placed it in here so I think that was a 21 bus turn motor I think I have removed the metal differentials and uh, put them back to plastic ones but that is the one thing I had put into my Geo was the metal uh, diff uh, housing but I have left the metal uh, axles, as you can see, just these, and the metal axle ends as well, front and rear. And I've also left the wheels and tyres on it, and they are pro lines uh, that I'm running. I can't remember the make of the tyre, but I know they're from pro lines. And the other thing I've uh, removed as well, and uh, reverse it back to plastic, are the shop towers as well so, and uh, as I mentioned I've uh, fitted some of the upgrades to my uh, Geo and kept some other spares just in case it breaks on my Geo and I'm running a 1600 mAh NI make spectra as well which I'll be thrown in with the axle bundle along with a USB charger to charge that battery as well so let's do the last running video of it before it gets sold. As you can see, even though I've taken some of the upgrades off, it still crawls nicely. And that silver little casing I'll be leaving on the track as well. Another thing I've changed as well is the steering servo. I've put the standard 9 kilogram steering servo back on. Because it was running a 25 kilogram steering servo. But as you can see, it's still doing its job, with, even with the 9 kilogram steering servo and the standard ESC what come with the high rock. You see how much tire flex that front wheel's given? I do like that. Of the other, of, uh, one of the other upgrades I'm leaving on it are the shock absorbers. Originally they were plastic, but since upgrading to metal, and I'll be leaving those on, as well as the metal axles as well. And the metal axle ends, so I've pointed it. Well, so the diff housing 
I say you won't be able to see it unless you take the axle apart. But I just took the metal up rays and changed them back to the plastic standard ones, what come with it. And they and those div uh, metal upgrades are fitted to my geo. Looks like it's getting stuck on this hill. So the only one what seems to have got up any further was my TRX4, and it's only because of the winch that helped. As shown in my life video. So I just gotta give it a helping hand. So yes, if you've seen that video of the TRX4, I actually used a winch to get it up here. A good clean, almost clean uh, run. The only time it got stuck was on this hill. So yes, like, like I said, I've decided to put this up for sale uh, shortly after the time of this recording. So hopefully by the time I've uploaded this video, this would have been sold. So yes, that was my very last run of my FTX High Rock before I put it out for sale. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I'm going to take a few pictures for my Instagram account for on today's run. So go check that out and I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.